What's up everyone? What's up everyone? Hello everyone. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Daniel. I'm here in Iowa. Gold Coast Casino. I'm ready to give you guys another vlog. <laughs> Hello YouTube, it is officially Friday, April 5th, and I am so excited because this means that we're making another vlog and it's been so long it feels like. But great news, I also have a tournament coming up next weekend, the Iowa State Tournament, but let's focus on this weekend. So this weekend is the Southwest Tournament in Wichita. I bowled this tournament last year, my doubles partner shot 300, shout out to Carlos. Um, he won't be bowling with us this year. He's down in Arizona for school right now. But uh, check out that vlog if you haven't seen it on the top right corner of your screen right now. So, guys, um, I'm about to head out. It is 4.30 p.m., and I am going to head to Wichita. It's about five and a quarter hours to the Airbnb. And me and Justin, who's going to be my doubles partner on Sunday, uh, we are uh, rooming together this weekend. So I think it's going to be a great weekend. Really looking forward to sharing that with you guys and I will see you guys in a little while. All right, guys, made it here to Wichita. Today, we are starting off, we're gonna be bowling at North Rock Lanes this weekend. I'm um, really excited to be back at that because that place is really good, and I really like bowling there. So, um, this will be my first official time, I think, uh, bowling there since they've fully redone and made it kind of more uh, bolero-y. So, uh, we'll see what that looks like whenever we get there today. But anyways, this morning we're going to be bowling uh, three team games. So it's a lot like last year. So we got three team games today, Saturday, and then tomorrow, Sunday, uh, we're going to be bowling three uh, games of doubles and three games of singles. And Justin is going to be my doubles partner. Uh, he's getting ready right now, but he'll have some camera time here in a minute, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, so basically, um, I'm going to be bowling with my mom, my friend Chris, uh, a couple others, you know, this weekend. And really looking forward to that, especially today. I, I typically like um, the team event at this just because it gives me a good chance to, you know, get lined up and then... Hopefully I'll whack them in doubles and singles this year with Justin. Um, I think that'd be great. Uh, really looking forward to it, though. Glad to be back. Justin and I are going to go get some breakfast before we head to North Rock Lanes, and then we'll get started. I think it's going to be great. We're going uh, doubles together tomorrow, but today we're going team. Um, so really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be great. Um, you know, you guys have seen Justin before. He's a pro shop guy like me, so we kind of speak the same language. We know, uh, we know what's up. But yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Really good opportunity to just bowl, have have a good time. And this tournament's always fun. Southwest tournament is always a really fun tournament to bowl. And high so, scoring. Yeah, high scoring. Is this your first time bowling in Southwest? It is. Nice. I think you're going to love it. You're going to have a great experience. If you don't shoot 300, I'm going to be disappointed because my partner in doubles last year shot 300. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care that much. We're going to have a great time. We'll do fine. We'll do fine. All right, well, let's go. Watching the flames burn higher 
setting my world on fire Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide We're skinning all on you And I don't pretend to know how you feel Either you won't or you will But I'll give it a try Even if you're too blind to see And even if you look right through me I never thought it would be easy Alright, so Justin and Daniel back at it so I'll let you start. How did today go? Um, it it went well for me. End of game two, we saw some weirdness with some, yeah. like, super flooded in the middle, but the outside still kind of flooded. So we kind of had to trick the ball a little bit. I went two twenty five, two forty four, two twenty for six eighty nine with one open. Yeah. Uh, ninth frame of the last game, sadly. Yeah. Still a pretty good series, though, and I think you did well in your brackets, so that's good. Makes some yeah. money. Yeah, I, uh, I started off pretty good, 235, uh, and then just kind of struggled after that, 202, 203. Um, I just, uh, you know, I, I really liked it early on. I was throwing the Rubicon, and then that went away about the eighth frame of the first game. So I threw a couple different balls and just kind of struggled through that transition. I didn't think that it got as cliff this time. Um, now, Justin, I think you had said that you thought it was kind of cliffed. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I threw, so what I threw for the first six frames of the first game was phase two. Then I went mm -hmm. immediately to my ethos. Yeah. Looked good. Then... Into game two, I, it was just like it was laboring down lane. So I kept it in, kept my speed up, and it looked good until it started deflecting and I couldn't move left anymore. Yeah. So then I had to slow it down and kind of loop it and really get around it to make sure it got off the spot. The part that I struggled with the most was like the outside didn't seem as dry as I expected it to be. So my ball wasn't recovering as much, and so I was going light a lot and just not quite getting it to the pocket the way I wanted to. I ended up uh, taking the T-Road Pearl and lofting it a little bit from deeper at the end. It actually looked okay. I wouldn't say it looked spectacular, but it looked okay and at least let me finish out, you know, to get to a 2-0. You know, all in all, I, I think tomorrow's going to be a great day and we get to bowl doubles together. I'm excited really for that. Really looking forward to I'm that. I think it's going to be great and I hope I beat him in all my brackets, right? <laughs> Except for one. I'll give you one. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll get back at it. See you later, Justin. See ya. Boom. All right, guys. So that is a wrap for day one, um, Saturday here in Wichita. Just got some dinner with my dad at Who Hot. Had never been there before, and we tried it, and it was pretty good. Tomorrow we bowl at 1 p.m. It's doubles and singles. I'm bowling with Justin, and my mom is bowling with uh, Joan. And so I'm really looking forward to it. My mom is currently a little under the weather just with some sinus stuff going on. I think her allergies are getting to her, but hopefully we'll feel better in the morning. She had a really strong finish today. Um, you know, she struggled in the beginning with some low games, but her last game, I think she shot a 209, if I remember correctly, which is uh, really awesome. Uh, looking forward to getting back at it tomorrow and think it's gonna be a great day. Really looking forward to it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, so today's doubles and singles. It is Sunday, fun day, right? Yep. And uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to it. We're bowling doubles together. So three games doubles, three games singles. We won't bowl till one o'clock. It's like 11 right now. So we're just gonna hang out and maybe get some food there or something, I don't know. But yeah, and go from there. So uh, yeah, I mean, similar game plan to yesterday. It's on house shots, so pretty similar. And I mean, yeah, I don't think it'll be anything too crazy. And mm -hmm. We'll just see how it goes. So, yeah, I started with the Rubicon yesterday. I might try that first in practice to see how it rolls. And I mean, you started with the phase two, so. Yeah, I also didn't hold up for, what, five frames? Yeah. But I I do know we're losing two people on a pair, so it yep. might hold up a little longer, maybe game one. All right, well, let's hit it. Always got to get the Dutch Bros. I'm so excited that they have them in Kansas now, too. It's crazy here in Wichita. But they have them, so I don't have to wait till I'm in Vegas to get them. Yay!
right, so we just finished doubles and singles. I had 657 in doubles, and then 714 in singles. And Justin? I had 659 doubles, and I had 711 in singles, which means Daniel beat me by one. Snapped him off just at the end there. Yeah, you got six in the film. I did, and I didn't even know that I needed five, so... Uh, or six to win, I guess. So yeah, it was it worked out. But no, overall it was good though. Um, I think in doubles I shot myself in the foot again with brackets. I haven't seen yet, but uh, yeah, I started off really hot with a two high two forties, and then uh, decided to go one ninety one and two teen. But yeah, overall uh, singles though went really good for me. I had five oh nine going into the last game. Then I decided for some reason to move in front of the ball return and get left on the right lane. And that was not the right move. And then got back on it, finished strong, and at least had a 2-0 something to finish out. So yeah, 7-14 seven, uh, seven on the day for singles. So yeah, how about you, Justin? Um, it was good. Um, I started off strong 268. Then I thought I was in the right ball. They are playing weird. On the left lane, I needed a little more speed, but the right lane, uh, wouldn't corner, so I need yeah. to slow it down, get around it some. But I'm trying to work with that and just kind of shot myself in the foot and shot uh, like 205 something. Then that last game, uh, switch balls and just got back on it. Yeah. Uh, singles, we uh, moved to the ethos, and uh, I just really needed to work on projecting it right. I was I was trying to play like. 17 to try and get to six down lane with my eyes, but my ball wasn't getting there. Yeah, I kind of felt similarly, especially like in the beginning. I was struggling getting the ball right, and so I think it was really handicapping me because the, there was a puddle in the middle, and my ball just kept sliding, sliding, sliding. But finally, uh, once we kind of got into that third game of doubles, I started to actually get the ball right where I wanted to. Went to the Onyx vibe and never looked back. I threw it for all three games of singles, and I thought it was rolling really well. It went through the pins great, too. Probably the best for me all weekend, honestly, which I mean, is why it scored better too. But, but yeah, it was finally seeing that shape I wanted to. And I had a couple where I really leaked it right down lane, but it didn't overhook, which is honestly a miracle because I thought it was going to jump. I think we kind of saw similar things out there. But I know you're using a lot of speed, especially in the beginning. And I think that that was interesting because to me, I was seeing it opposite where I wanted to get left and slow it down and actually cover a little more boards which was interesting. Uh, but I was using the IQ. It was a little more yeah. forward rolling. So I want I didn't want it to roll a little too soon on me. Right. So I got it through the front really quickly. That way it rolls nicely through the pocket. That's true. And, of course, then once we got in, towards the end of game three, I started to loft the ball. I think it helped a lot for me to loft the ball because it was actually cornering down lane, and it started to go through the pins better like I was talking about. So, yeah, I think overall it was a pretty good weekend, though. Thanks, Justin, for bowling with us. Yeah, no problem. And I thought it went great. I think in doubles we'll cash. After handicap, we had, like, 1370-something. So I think that'll be close to cashing at least. You know, I think it'll be in there. Hopefully. Yeah, and then I think in singles we'll probably both cash too. Back at it next weekend with the Iowa State Tournament. So we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Sweet. See you later. See ya.